Say. How is it multiple choice choice questions for you? Okay, but we have to work quick because I have to leave it off. Um, okay, question 1.1. Tell you a block is at rest on a table. Which one of the following best describes a normal force acting in this situation? Okay, so come on, let's go for now. is in a rest on a table. So we have gravitational force down and we have normal force up. Okay, now they ask, what is the best description for the normal force? I can let's go for now. I look there, they say force block, table, table block. Table, earth, earth, block, blah, 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 blah. Let's just quickly think. Before I take an answer, what is it? This um, water bottle is at rest on a table. Okay, so what is the best description? Okay, what is the best description? Is it a table? That is the most on the bottle. Okay. So there's an upwards and it's still the force of the block on the table. Near the force of the table on the block. 1.1b. <laughs> okay, 1.2 Celefio. Okay, so an object moving at a constant velocity has a momentum P and a kinetic energy E. What will the kinetic energy of the object be if its momentum is changed to 2P while its mass remains constant? Okay, because check this out. Because this is to be a front end actually. Scenario 1, Scenario 2. In Scenario 1, first we're going to look at the momentum is mass times velocity. Now they say what happened in Scenario 2? The momentum now changed to 2P. Okay, the second is off. It changed to 2P. How can it change to 2P? Either the mass doubled or the velocity doubled. Infinite Which one? What happened? They say while well, its mass remains constant. So the mass didn't change. So it must have been the velocity that has doubled. So you should see that in this case is that m times 2v. This is basically what happened. Is that you with me? Okay, so I figured out what happened with the momentum. Let's say the momentum is verdubbled. Who can it verdubble it? It's of the mass, it's two times the mass, or the snelheid is two times the word. And they say of you, the mass will be constant, so then it's the snelheid that we say that. Sure. Now, I'm going to look at the energy. They say in the first scenario, the kinetic energy of mv squared is e. This is what they say. Now they ask, what will happen to the kinetic energy afterwards? What did for under? What changed? The velocity doubled. So I can say, good. The second um, kinetic energy is a half. The mass is the same. The velocity doubled. And now it is the yellow day. The whole thing is squared. And that gives you a half. Mal 4, 4 kwadraat. En dit geef jou 4, half m, 4 kwadraat. Toe kom, maal ek nie die 4 met die half nie. Why do I not multiply that with one another? Because I want to, oops, excuse. I want to get that and that to look the same. Because that is equal to e. So dan kan ek sê dit is 4 e. En dis kom die antwoord. Ja. Ja. Ik wil net gevinden naar question 1.3 ook doen. Vraag 1.3. Je vraagt niet, je vraagt niet gewoon. Oké. Add question 1.3. M N P Q. Oké. They say that is a position time graph. And the ball is upwards gegooid. Bla, 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 bla. Goed. Kom eens, denk niet gauw. Position tijd grafiek. Hier die maak van my sin. De bal wordt opgegooid. En dan gaan we af. En dan wordt hij opgegooid erop. Oké. Okay. Nou, vooral of jou. Bij wat er tijd is die beweging. In die beweging is die kinetische energie die hoogste. Waarin is kinetische energie gelink? Half m v squared. Hopefully the mass of the ball did not change. So it's linked to its velocity. So hulle vooral basically, wanneer is sy snelheid die grootste? Okay. 
Wanneer die bal zijn maximum hoogte bereik? Wat is die snelheid? Velocity is zero, velocity is zero. So dit is definitief nie M nie, ach N nie, en dit is definitief nie K nie. Then the velocity is at its lowest, so the kinetic energy will be at its lowest. So it's of M of P. Volgens die reels wat ek vir gesit aan begin van die jaar, daar wil hy sy uh, oorspronkelijke hoogte kruis. Daar is hy snelheid die selle. So as die snelheid die so 10 was, dan is die snelheid al minus 10. Wat is 10, 10. Wat gebeur dan, soos wat hy verder afbeweeg, afbeweeg, afbeweeg. Hy gaan alhoe, vinniger, vinniger, vinniger. Because of gravitational acceleration. So at P, the velocity will be at its greatest. Die is negative, in the negative direction, maar vir die grootste word. So that is why, why 1.3 is P. Ok, at 1.4. Ok, 1.4 en dan soos klaar, people. Ok, 1.4 Vir hulle, sê hulle een blok word links getrek. A blok is being pulled to the left by force of a rough horizontal surface is slowing down. Top. Ok, so dit beteken, as sê nou ons kies links as positief, dan is die versnelling negatief. Ok. I've been pulled by forces moving to the left. We're slowing down. Yeah. Nee, maar 1 met 4 het hulle nie gesê, alle antwoorde nie? Nee, ja, ek kan nie net sê, dit is B. Ja, ja. ja. So 1.4, the correct answer must be, 1.4 must be B, it's not C, B. Nee, is it? Is it white label? Nee. Because it's moving at a constant velocity. Only if you drop something from it, it will be in free form. Can you go back? I'll just give you a question. 